Hi, it's Patrick with E38. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an eSurvey E600 as a base for your DJI drone. The E600's hardware is the same used for the Carlson BRX7 and several other brands, so the implementation should work similarly. We're going to start by configuring our base, so first we'll power it on and log into its Wi-Fi network. On our model, the network is unsecured, so we just click to connect. We then type into our browser 192.168.10.1 to get to our base settings. The default password is password and we're in. From here we can check the status of our position, data link, satellites and other information. Uh, where we're going to focus will be in the working mode. We're going to make sure our system mode is set to base and our current data link is network. You have the option to adjust any of the specifics of your base setup here. Uh, we only set the base point since we're going to set up over a known point. If your base has a SIM card, you'll enter your APN credentials here. Uh, but more importantly, we need our connect mode to be set to point to point. We will also set our caster port and mount point. I'm going to name mine MP1234 and save those settings. Now we'll hop over to our Mavic. Again, we'll start by connecting our controller to our base's Wi-Fi. Then we'll open the pilot app. We're going to open a mission, then open the settings menu and select the RTK settings. We'll make sure our positioning is on and our RTK service is a custom network. Then we'll put in our base's IP again, uh, 192.168.10.1, and make sure our port and mount point match what we had set earlier, and save that. Here's where things are a little strange compared to when we set up our AMLED base in a previous video. You'll see that we have a fix on our aircraft and that our base and drone are communicating, but next to our status it's telling us we're not connected. As of this video, we haven't heard of any fix for this bug, but functionally we are connected. Even our drone health management system sees that, so it will allow us to fly our mission. So we'll push forward and fly. In our testing, we have had accurate results down to about a half inch with this setup, so we're confident enough that this bug should be a non-issue until it's fixed. If you like this video and want to see more like it on any of the products we offer at E38, leave us a comment on what you'd like to see. I'm Patrick with the E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.